So you guys have already seen my practice bag. If you haven't, go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the description below. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at my game bag. I say, uh, I don't need no Molly to be savage. So this is my three and two ruthless baseball bag. Pretty nice bag. You can hold two bats. Has a few compartments. Gets the job done, nothing too special about it. I have this patch on the side. I mean, all of our bags look the same. And if we don't have our bats in it, we won't be able to tell our bags apart. So this is from Cavity Colors. Really cool, just so I can tell my bag apart from the rest. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the bag. <laughs> All right, let's start with my helmet. Pretty nice helmet, I mean, Nothing too special about it. It's the Easton Z6. Funny thing is that the original color is actually green. I mean, see right there is green. I just painted over it with black. Anyway, really nice helmet, really soft on the inside. And I like this one a lot, so. And then we put on my C flap right here. Funny thing is that when I put my C flap on my old helmet, the neck, the game right after, I got hit in the C flap. It was actually really funny, but this did protect my face. Really cool. Let's go ahead and move on. So this is an all-American glove, handcrafted by Soto. Funny story about this, I didn't even buy this glove. Okay, let me just tell you the story. So. My coach gave me this glove because he said that this is this was in his batting cage for a few weeks and no one has come to pick it up. So he's like, hey, you want it? I'm like, sure, because my glove that I was using was much way too broken in. And I mean, like it was so broken in that if a ball got hit a line drive, my glove would literally fall back and the ball would fall out. So I needed a new glove pretty much. And I'm using this one now. Really nice, it's broken in. Anyway, really nice glove. It doesn't have a lot of padding, but it gets the job done. Next up, we have my limited edition Python Custom Contour Series Infielder's Glove by Stilo. It says right here, Stilo. I actually did do an unboxing on this, so if you wanna go ahead and check that out, link will be in the description below. Anyway, real nice, colors are black and white have white there, and the Stilo right here, and the O right here and here is actually gold. Anyway, really cool. I guess you could say it's broken in. I mean, it's not broken into my liking, but other people would say it's broken in. I don't think it's game ready yet though. So I'm gonna keep trying to break it in. Really nice glove, like it a lot. Has more padding than this glove. But I like it, really nice. Anyway, let's move on to something else. Obviously, you have to have a ball for your, glo for your gloves. Make sure they don't lose the shape. And here we have my elbow guard. I mean, almost everyone has one of these. It's by Nike, as you can see, has a Nike logo right there. You know, put it on when you're batting. If you get hit right here, it won't hurt. Pretty simple. You know, it's kind of like the C-flap, but for your arm, you know? Anyway, really nice. Nothing too special about it. Colors are black and white, as you could obviously see. And it does say Nike right there. Anyway, let's move on. Now, this is the most important thing that any baseball player has to have, um, are sunflower seeds. I mean, come on, everybody has these. And I mean, these are cracked pepper flavor. My favorite is chili lime. I'm pretty sure that's what the flavor is called. Those are my favorite, but these are my second favorite. Um, what's it called? Second favorite flavor. Really nice. Anyway, let's move on. Here we have batting gloves. These are Franklin batting gloves. Colors is black and chrome. It actually says Franklin in chrome color. Really like these. I know some kids don't wear batting gloves, but I have to wear batting gloves because I didn't once and I got like a blister right here on the inside of my thumb and the, it hurt so much to swing a bat. And it actually didn't heal till like a few, like a few weeks ago because I kept swinging the bat and then my blister kept reopening, but 
Anyway, that's off topic. Really like these gloves. I don't know if you can see, but if you look really closely, there's little holes on the fingers, on the front and back, so that your hand can breathe a little bit. Anyway, let me go ahead and put it on. Really easy to put on, and it actually fits me perfectly. That's what I love about this glove. These, this batting glove fits me perfectly. Really like it. Feels really nice, and it actually does have a good grip, as you can see right here. It's a completely different texture on the inside, on my palm, than on the outer part of my hands. Anyway, really nice. And I also have my Easton batting gloves. It has the Easton symbol or logo right here, and it says Easton right here, all in black. Anyway, the colors are for, for this are white and gray, and then a tiny bit of black right there, I just showed you. Anyway, really nice. The only thing that I like more about this glove than my Franklin batting gloves is that it ha you, your hand can breathe much more than my Franklin ones. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, there's like tons of little holes that your hand can breathe, that'll keep your hand breathing, I guess you could say. But pretty much, really like these a lot. It's also soft, but I would have to say that these give you more protection because it's pretty much pat. It's not padded, but it's more, it feels a little bit heavier than this because I feel like this could break. Anyway, really nice glove, like it a lot. But Franklin batting gloves, these are definitely my favorite. Now let's see what else we have. Yes, a bag. Now I know this may just seem like a regular bag, but let's go ahead and just take a look inside. So here we have my GoPro. Obviously you have to have a GoPro. The charging cable for my GoPro. A solar portable charger. And the most important thing of all, is my mini clip. Now what this will allow me to do is pretty much hook this part, this part of it, onto the fence, and then I'll be able to put my GoPro onto this. Let me go ahead and do that right now. And then I'll be able to record my entire game just on this, like this. Really cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and put everything back. I actually did a unboxing on the mini clip, so if you want to go go ahead, check that out, support the channel, link will be in the description below. And the, the mini clip, for all of those people who want to like, watch themselves after the game's done, see what they did wrong or what they did right, this will definitely be a great addition. And then last but not least, we have the wristbands. I mean, every baseball player has wristbands. Here are some plain Nike ones. I mean, as you can see, it has the Nike logo right here. Nothing too special about them, just black and white. They are really soft, but they are a little bit small. They are a little bit small, I mean they could be a little bit bigger, but they get the job done. And now I have my Supreme wristbands. I know, I got everything Supreme. I even got Supreme wristbands. Anyway, these are really cool. It actually has the Nike symbol right there. I mean logo. Always get those words mixed up, symbol, logo. Anyway, these are definitely a lot bigger than these Nike wristbands. I mean, a lot bigger. Almost two times the size, the height. Anyway, I like these a lot, but I would have to say I like my these Nike wristbands more just because they're a little bit softer and smaller. And if you're playing with this on, this is pretty big. But the only reason I like this more than these Nike wristbands is just because it's bigger, so I'll be able to wipe off more sweat than just this on. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this off. And that is it, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back. Let's go ahead and move on to my bats. So this is my heavy hitter, it is the Rawlings Quattro. 
2 and 3 fourths barrel, 31 drop 10, 21 ounces. I love this bat a lot because it has a huge sweet spot and has tons of pop, but the thing is, I'm going to be moving on to a bigger field next year, a full field. And this is just a little bit too light for me, just because I'm going to be moving up. I'm in 13 year right now, but love this bat, really great. And the best part is that the grip tape is actually pretty soft. You know, I like the grip tape, like, I mean, usually the grip tape that you get on a bat, it's not too soft. It's usually really rough, but I like this. Nice bat. I mean, I love this bat, but let's go to move on to the next one. Oh, this is also a composite bat, and it's not end loaded, which means if you put one finger, and if you actually, like, towards the middle, and you tried balancing, it should pretty much stay balanced. The weight's evenly distributed. That's what I meant to say. Now, this is my Easton Beast X. They don't call it Beast for nothing. It is a 31 drop 5. Really like this bat. It doesn't have as much pop as my Quattro, but I do have to start getting used to a heavier bat just because, as I said, I'm going to a bigger field next year. Um, really like this, and this is unloaded, so for all those guys out there who don't like heavier bats, definitely don't go with something that's unloaded. That means that there's more weight in the barrel, and it's not evenly distributed with towards the whole bat. So if you did this, it's going to be really heavy towards the end. Anyway, really like this bat just because it's heavier. As I said, it doesn't have as much pop as my Quattro, but really like it. Two and three fourths barrel. And it's and it's an alloy bat, really nice. Go ahead and put this back and move on to this little compartment right here. Boom. This may not look like much, but this could literally change your entire batting, like just your entire at bat. This is the shot. This is oh, I almost dropped it. I mean, I did drop it. This is by Franklin. It's the shock sorb sting reducer. Really cool. Now, it may not look like much. You put this on your thumb, and it's supposed to keep the bat in your fingertips, which is very, very useful. Because what some players usually do is the bat will go in their palm, the palm of their hands, and they just won't be swinging the right way because the bat will be in the palm of their hands. But with this, you will be able to keep the palm in your fingertips and have better at bats. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but Major League Baseball players actually use this. I kid you not, if you look closely, some MLB players do use this. It's really cool that I actually have one. Anyway, let's put that back and let's go ahead and take a look at the top here. As you can see, this is just a bag that says Under Armour, but what's inside the bag is a lot it's, it's actually pretty cool. Now, most baseball players have this because it is very needed, but these are my glasses. I got it in the color white because white pretty much matches anything, you know? So I thought, might as well, looks really nice. These are the Under Armour Igniter glasses. Sadly, I did scratch them. I don't know if you could see, but there's a scratch right on top of where my finger is. Really nice. What I like about these glasses is that they don't, like, once you put them on, they don't make everything around you go pitch black, you know? Some glasses are way too dark and you won't even be able to see the ball. But with these, they make it just bright enough so that you can see the ball and not too bright where you can't even see at all. So, really like these glasses. Really nice. Go ahead and put that back. Last but not least, we have the bottom of the bag. And I'm a little scared to go in here, guys, because it smells terrible down here. I'll tell you that much. I'm just going to have to do it, and... Oh, man. These are the Nike Avalanche Elite Cleats. Really cool. They smell terrible because I've worn them a lot. Colors are black and white. My dad actually tried using a gold pen to make it gold. But you can see the black is showing now. Anyway, really like these a lot. Smell terrible. And the only bad part about these is that they're white. So it does, they do get dirty pretty frequently. But they are cleats, what can you expect? Um, these are really nice, soft on the inside. Really like them. And they feel great when you put your foot in. 
the sad part is that they are starting to get a little bit worn out on the bottom. The back part of my cleats definitely aren't, but the front is. The part I like about this the most is the Velcro. The Velcro, I think, is the best part just because it provides ankle support. And if your shoes get untied, you don't have to pause the game like most players do. Anyway, I really like this shoe. I need to put the shoe away. I need to put these cleats away before I pass out with the smell. Oh, jeez. I'm definitely going to have to get some Febreze or something. I don't know. Oh, I can still smell it. <sighs> okay. Uh, anyway, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay posted on my channel because there, co my coach is coming out with an announcement that might change this, so I will be doing another video. Really hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you guys my game bag. As I always do it, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. And I need to get some Febreze. See you guys later. I say, uh, I don't need no Molly to be savage. Uh, when I'm on that Molly, I feel savage.